Helium put out a new wallet update today, and I think this is going to be good for a lot of the people out there that are having issues with uh, completing transactions or whatever other little small bugs that you're having that some of us are not having. So let's just look at the update real quick. I'm currently on the official Helium Discord app, and you can see Helium Wallet app 2.0.8 is now available. I have an iOS. So it didn't show up right away. I had to come back a few minutes later. That update was there and I was able to do it and it's working fine. So this update refines all aspects of the app, but specifically fixes several known issues around rewards claiming and transactions. Here is a quick rundown of what's new in this update. Now, this is huge to me because I did have a few of you out there that were asking questions about certain transactions and certain issues that you were having with the app. And I would go back and try to uh, make that same error come up with me, but it wasn't happening. Everything was working just fine. And so that's why it would come down to me just saying, reach out to the official Helium Discord, post your issue. Those devs are really good at getting back to figure out what is going on. Is it just you? Or is there a bigger app issue that they need to address? And that's what it looks like it is. It was a bigger app issue. All right, so we've got four points that they've made. One, improve transaction simulation. Transaction simulation is the preview of your transactions in the app that estimates how your token balances will change before a proven actions. Be aware that these previews are not guaranteed to be perfectly accurate as malicious actors can manipulate previews. Never sign transactions from unknown or untrustworthy apps. Number two, the transaction simulation preview now gives you a more informative error. When you don't have enough HNT or soul, if you don't have enough soul, it will prompt you to get more soul. Now this is huge because some of the issues that I was seeing or whenever I started with the new app, was I did get the error that I was unable to complete a, complete a transaction. But the reason I couldn't complete that transaction was because I didn't have enough soul. This was a totally new thing when HNT migrated to the Solana blockchain. And so I had to figure out how to put soul in my wallet and then the transaction was able to go through. But it didn't give me that error. It didn't say error, there's not enough soul or error, there's not enough HNT for whatever it is I'm trying to do. It just, just simply said error. So this is really good for uh, some of the people that have not been you know, keeping up to date with what's going on with the blockchain and they're coming back in and they're unable to complete transactions or uh, really do any basic sort of little thing with their app. And again, if you need to know how to do or convert HNT to soul or add just a little bit of soul to your wallet to complete the transactions, I've got some other videos that show you how to do that. All right, number three, fixes for claim and rewards, especially for users that have a large amount of hotspots. Now I have, you know, over 20 hotspots and sometimes when I would go to the rewards, and I would pull down to get that refresh because you needed to pull down to get the refresh. We'll see if we need to do that anymore. But it would only put so many of my hotspots. So in order for me to get all of them, I would have to click the filter and click all or, or 50 just because I have a little bit over 20 hotspots. And then all the rewards would show up. That was the, really the only kind of issue that I was having since this update. And um, hopefully this fixes me not having to go in and do that extra step. Why not have all from the beginning? Why do you have to go in and click a certain amount? Like it, that, that seems like an extra step. Just get rid of that all. Make the, all the default. All right. Let's see, number four, plus many small bugs and fixes. And again, this could be where some people were just having certain issues here or there and, uh, and, and it just didn't make sense. And hopefully those people, this really completes or fixes those issues that they were having that I kept trying to replicate or some other users out there were trying to replicate in order to help the, peop the people in our comments help with their hotspots and this crazy migration to the Solana blockchain. So anyway, I just wanted to put out there this new 
update from the Helium wallet because I believe this is important to update or fix, hopefully, some of the issues that some of you have been having. We'll see you on the next one.